Hello there everyone and welcome back to Kaiser Reich. I'm your host, Mr. Norman Thomas Lava, but right now we gotta talk about the anthem for the new America. Congress is debating what tune shall become the official anthem of the Socialist Republic of America. Several songs will quickly become the candidates to debate. The question is, which shall be voted on to become the official anthem of the United States? Or the Socialist Social States of America. Or Socialist Republic of America. Solidarity forever. There's power in union. This land is your land. Um, we're radical socialists. Let's go. Let's go, land is your land. Let's go with that one. Emancipation for all, of course. Um, I think I read this one yesterday, so if you like to read this one again, please go right ahead. In which up next, ooh, stability would be so nice to get. We'll get more stability here. We'll get stability over here. Equality for all with even more stability. And then you go down here and give more stability and political power. So we're just going to keep hitting that stability button as much as we possibly can right now, though. Uh, we can do a lot of stuff here. What else can we do around here? Ooh, we're still doing stuff down there. And Oh, oh I took a Panama. Oh, I forgot we were at war with Panama, huh? Also, I did install the fast justification mod in so we can go to war pretty darn quickly at this point with all sorts of different groups and people so that should be oh not bad I... how long has there been an impassable terrain here I never knew that is that new that can't be new is that new oh oh yeah we still have emergency guardians which is fine whatever um I didn't realize that that was a thing my bad oh well whatever um, where else can we land from? Uh, yeah. Le Mans? Or up there? Because you guys are all on the same alliance, right? Yeah, you are, so it's fine to invade Venezuela. Because we definitely need at least one port around here before we invade. Um, just in case, just kind of hang out here. Have a good old time. I'm pretty sure they can't invade there, but you know what? We'll do the best we can. And we'll continue sinking tons and tons and tons and tons of convoys. Not bad. Um, there you go. Another hurricane hits the Nicaraguan Atlantic shores. A hurricane hits the Nicaraguan Atlantic shores once again. The storm formed nearly out, of, nearly out of nowhere, and an unprepared civilian populace has suffered for the unpredictability of the Central American weather. Luckily, the storm was headed towards the Gulf of Mexico and didn't touch the shore, but the strong winds caused some damage throughout the Central American Atlantic coastline. We were lucky it wasn't headed our way. Nope, nope. All right. So with that fast justification war mod, oh, we already. Yeah, we're good. And I only saw it just because I don't want to wait to take this long, so. Pay to Panama. We're going to do all this stuff as well. And we're destroying reactionary terrorists right now, of course. Longists, loyalists, scum, stuff like that, so. And I love blowing these guys up. I just, it's just so nice. So good. We do need to invade the French Republic, but in the end, we probably will, as long as. Wow, their international is not doing so great either. Huh. Wow. But yeah, we got to move a little bit faster than what we're currently doing, I guess. How much manpower do they have left? They're a authoritarian democracy, huh? They got a lot of manpower. That seems a bit extreme for how for being the French Republic. For basically being a rump state in Africa. But then again, I've never played as them, so special training. I'd probably complain that we didn't have enough manpower if I were to play as them, so. Cool. Salvation does not wait. Eh, gotta give them a lot of buffs. I just don't think that you get this many buffs if you're literally playing in Africa like this. Huh. Well, eh, whatever. It's not our... Not our plan. Uh, you know what? We could probably use some of that too. Uh, get some air bases. Adoption of the M1 helmet. I think I've read this one. Read this one before. So if you like, like to read about this one, please go right ahead. Finally got rid of the Brodies. Emancipation. Women's liberation. All right. After that one, then we'll go ahead and talk about deal with America first. Here we long. Foul crew of reactionary demagogues, heartless industrialists, and the tyrannical generals will finally stand trial. Although the Kingfish himself escaped capture, will eagerly dish out a fair punishment to everyone who collaborated with them. Pretty much, man, pretty much. Convoys go bye-bye? Oh, you bet they do. Happy 41, everybody. It's going to become 1942 soon enough. Social revolution? Look at that stability. 55% is pretty darn nice. But, other comments included. Someone asked if I could play as Marshal Konev in the Thousand Week Reich. Yeah, eventually I will. I probably most definitely will, so. That'll be a lot of fun. Uh, make nuclear reactors. Give Texas more infrastructure to get even more oil? Well, that's the plan. And get some uh, support equipment updates. That'd be smart to do, too, so. Hmm. Why not for now? We can afford that for now, right? Let's see. Focus on Asia or the Americas. Well, I definitely chose the Americas for this one, so we'll see what happens. And any other planes we can throw on here? A couple more fighters wouldn't hurt us at all. I'm going to duplicate you guys quite a bit. Or at least as much as we possibly can. 
I had to get rid of some of these planes as well. It is what it is. Do we have any extra caves on this? At least we got some of these guys. That's good. Throw two right there. We got four more. Not bad. Let's see what we can do. Colombia. I'm not sure how strong they are, but we'll see. We're also going to have to fight Ecuador, looks like, as well. Totally remember that Ecuadorian flag. Totally. Fall of Wuhan. <gasps> Ooh, Wuhan. Nice. This is very concerning how these guys are actually losing pretty badly. So, we'll see. The Moscow court. Polo's not giving up yet, so. Let's go destroy Longest Terrace. Oh, you bet we will. We'll probably get against Colombia. Oh, yes, please. And the fate of Panama. <clears throat> After a rapid campaign around the Panama Canal, we finally managed to shatter the Panamanian defenses. Panama is now in our hands. We must have decided the future of Panama. Oh, my finger slipped. Anything here? Um, anything we really care about here? No, no, no. Nice. Um, anything here? 41. Eh, go and get that too. Hopefully these guys can do really well. You know, force the attack. Screw it. Force it, force it, force it. We need to land, you son of a gun. You land lovers. At least somewhere, please. Anywhere, really. Ooh, they are sinking some of our ships, though. Come on, somewhere here, baby. Come on. Come on. You can do well. I know you can. He's learning, hopefully, that would become an invader, too. And a commando. One hour's left. That's no, not good. Go, 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 go. You're not going to give up the attack. At least land somewhere. God dang it. There you go. You land here, which is great. Take the port if you possibly can as well. You should be able to do well here. They should not be able to hold up here. They're attacking it here as well. We might be able to do well there. We're out of command power, which is definitely not a good thing. We're definitely winning on defense, and we're slowly, hopefully, winning on offense here and here. All I need is one of these tiles. If I lose a couple infantry divisions, you know, so be it. You know, it happens. Hey! Nice job, guys. Good job. Kill them off, these scumbags. Since we're here, do that too. Women's Liberation. I deal with America first. And then, equality for law. Of all? Eh, 5% more stability is okay. We'll do transformative justice. Although we firmly dealt with the old American elite, there's still a sizable popular movement opposing the new regime. We need to pacify any remaining counter revolutionary cells and make sure to track down every last infiltrate in our midst before we can finally be sure we've won. Nice. Yeah, we're actually on here too. Good job, guys. Help them out. Tell them where to go. Go on in if you can. If you want to help out here too, that's fine with me. There you go. Uh, you actually want to stop attacking there. Might want to do that. Do we got any more? Oh, yes, son. Yes, we do. We got two different things going at the same time. That's fine. You've got to be learning more, right? Cap Ooh, cruiser captain. That's kind of cool. Blast water. Nice. Hopefully one solid line, because that would be amazing. There you go. Not bad. It's probably a dumb idea to do this, but the brown division. Actually, I gotta do that. There we go. Over to there. It's probably really dumb to do, but we'll do it anyways because we can. Look at that. Nice. Ooh, more land auction. And we're done with our land auction. More recon. Ooh, do we actually have recon on our soldiers? Yeah, we do. That's good. Good. I'm glad I didn't forget about that. Oh, we actually sunk a battleship. A pre... Oh, Dreadnought. Oh, pre-Dreadnought hole. No, that's pre-Dreadnought, but still. Um, you guys want, just hold first. Don't die. Set up your base of operations. That'll be probably the most important thing here. Uh, construction is nice. Grab some more supply here, too. That'll be very good. Group empty air, nice. Almost 42. Grab some of that too. Convoy Arenos. You got about got a month left. Don't grab this. It's fine. You think if you sink enough convoys, they won't be able to do very much. These guys are slowly winning over here. And they're slowly pushing up through here too. That's a, actually really solid. So it's definitely a mixed bag. And this is definitely shifted. It hasn't gotten any better or worse. It just shifted. Ooh, the Red Pope. Well, that's kind of cool. Actually, you guys go down there too. 
You guys are not attacking, not doing anything. Uh, let's see what we can do. What type of magic can y'all cook up? Can you smell what the rock is cooking? Oh boy. Well, let's get some of that stuff done. Some more cities would be nice. Can y'all do anything now? Still preparing a little bit more? Let's see, Logistics 2 is good. Go Logistics 3 immediately. That'd be helpful. Um, you know what, we might start working on some more armor stuff too. Go Logistics, go... That's all we can do, okay. That's fine. Nope. What are the losses like? Ooh, wow, that's a lot here. Uh, 19,000 versus 48,000? Pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty decent. Publication of the book Archaeology of the North Coast of Honduras. The American archaeologist and ethnographer, ethnographer Doris Z. Murray Stone has regard, published her book compelling, uh, compiling the findings of various archaeologists regarding several Central American archaeological sites in Honduras. One of the finest works of archaeological research in its area. Her book focuses mostly on notes regarding the Playa de los Muertos by George Clapp Valiant and Dorothy Penelope uh, Popno and how they shaped the new image of the Meso Mesoamerican cultures. The book has clearly become a must-read for any pre-Columbian Mesoamerican history enthusiast, and has propelled the prestige of the young director of the National Museum of Costa Rica to new heights. Her works makes us all proud. General Defense Committee? Sure, why not? Entrusting military leadership and the safety of our nation to a group of elites can only end poorly. We must ensure that a commonwealth remains meritocratic and free from corruption. As such, Congress has organized a committee of union advisors and military strategists to the trial of the fought, or American First Party. Oh, ten convoys. Wow. With the revolution now over. The time come now is to deal with those that fought against us. Here we long. So, uh, so according to Earl Browder, it could have been a great ally to socialism. We do admit that Long's plan for welfare was in the right direction, but his authoritarian uh, practice was abhorrent. Long's... As Long's family and close associate to now, Knox to make do with putting the leaders that remain in chains. Francis Townsend has defended the actions of the AFP's core membership, saying that the radical militarism was due to the nature of the Southern populism. Not Huey Longism. Some in the jury have been assuaged, but the final decision is to pardon them. Ooh. Convict them. Seize and arrest. Convict them. We're gonna go mass part of socialism here. Oh, actually, I forgot about this. Yeah. Yeah, I wanted this one too. That's actually really strong. I like that one a lot. Destroy them, terrorists, boys. Pair scum. If y'all can win here, that'd be great. Can you actually win here too? Oh, you're fighting in the mountains, which does suck, so. Yeah. Oh, you're slowly losing here too. If you were to force the attack, could you win in Caracas? Because right now the goal is it just a smooch? Not smooch. Smother. <laughs> Not smooch, but smother. Um, that's the case. That's honestly all the armies that I really want, so. Thank you. Should be able to do well down here. I mean, we're struggling a little bit down here, but still. I got a lot. Oh, they're on, how are they on scraping the barrel, son? If anything, actually. We don't have an intelligence. Oh, my goodness. We are so far behind. We already started doing that. You guys go right. Oh, it's for you. Oh, CNS America. I love it. CNS. Yes, please. There you go. Find them, sink them, and stink them. Ground support, nice. Ooh. Oh, they actually oh they're closing this gap, which is really nice. Yeah, they're definitely losing down here, but they're winning in the north. It's very odd. Like the Pokemon, it's a little odd-ish. Come on, winning Caracas. You can do it. All I care about is Caracas right now. That's literally all I care about. Come on, come on. Keep expanding, keep expanding. You're doing great. You're doing great. Get over here and they can help on Caracas as well. And then we can move over to Kumana. Come on, son. You're almost there. Just two more points. Two more points. We got it. Oh, we got it. We literally got it. Nice. Over here. Good, we linked up. Fall of Amsterdam, good job. Nice, Venezuela is gone. God, that was bloody as all heck. It's alright, though. Find them, kill them all off. Yeah, Central Defense Committee would be very good since we're going to have a lot of territory to administer. How much political power do we get? 1.6 every single day. It's, it's a little laggy. I mean, it's Kaiserreich still, so, I mean, don't ever want to forget about that, but still. Oh, in the West Indies. That's true. We will have to fight these guys as well. We want to restore some sort of sanity over here. 
Even though they were kind of by themselves. Huh. Trial of the federal government's up next. With the revolution over. Um, yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. Those who fought against us. Ooh. Oh, really nice. Good door did not really get involved, huh? Charged against, uh, among other former uh, Federalist positions or politicians, Douglas MacArthur, uh, that of seizing the government and suspending civil rights in defense of conservative Democrats. Henry Morgenthau Jr. has appeared in MacArthur's stead due to his recent exile, repressing or representing the business and social interests of the old regime. Morgenthau stated that it was only under MacArthur that the mob violence against Jews committed by the AFP was halted. The testimony of MacArthur's reluctance to accept extra legal power and his personal accounts of admiring the socialist Jacob Coxey has swayed some. Ultimately, the jury has decided to pardon him. Convict the leaders. More socialism. Some would say of a nationalist kind, but that's okay. Oh, destroy him. There you go, too. Nice. Very, very good. Alright, so you guys did really great. Like, don't get me wrong, you guys did great, 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 great. And in the meantime, it's gonna really suck for supplies down here as we're gonna build, build, build. As much as humanly possible, of course. We're gonna need more, uh, get some goods and such. Y'all go right there. Are they not in a faction now? They're by themselves, huh? Alright, hey, Venezuela. After a campaign across Venezuela, we finally managed to shatter the Venezuelan defenses. What are we missing? Caracas is now in our hands. We must not decide what to do with them. Liberation. That type of liberation. Thanks, guys. I know you're busy right now, but thanks for this stuff. Pay to Colombia. After a campaign across Colombia, we finally managed to shatter the Colombian defenses. Bogota is now in our hands. Oh, thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it quite a bit. Actually, now I can't even just find these guys. God dang it. It's all right, whatever. Uh, we have until night, March 5th. Ooh, it's going to take a while. Debates over union membership fees and racism. Or racism. What well, sounded like a simple proposition during the revolution, that of abolishing segregation, has run into numerous potholes. Starting with the, a debate over whether or not oh, union membership fees were inherently discriminatory towards black workers. Evidence on both sides appear inconclusive, and most of the unions that were rejected from the Constitutional Convention have protested in favor of a maximum union membership fee. <clears throat> These protesters claimed to be discriminated against based on the race by the openly anti-racist IWW. Then came the Union congressmen from the newly liberated states who are protesting that forced integration is a violation of the Union rights to collectively bargain. Ultimately, the IWW persevered in Congress and publicly shamed the new congressmen and protesters as reactionaries, which not given more racist in disguise. Protect free speech. Ooh, we could use that. Protect the revolution. Ooh, that's pretty good too, but I'll do this one first. Protect the revolution. Maintain them protecting the spirit of free of the revolution will be vital in the coming years. We'll face enormous outside pressure from the reactionary powers around the world, sabotage from dissidents within our own nation, and in the strap of factionalism even amongst our leadership. Our will isn't yet broken though, the struggle continues. The rise of women only unions. Since the revolution, more and more women are enter entering politics and technical fields. While in certain states, transition to women's liberation has gone smoothly, in other places, the wave has impeded. A national poll has shown the number of women-only unions have called Jupiter in the past year when interviewed. These women-only unions claim persistent and systematic discrimination in the fields of science and civil service in the aftermath of this release of the plan. Women's caucus was cancelled as the nation begins to debate the ethical application of women's liberation, Norman Thomas. And so the debate by decrying both women-only unions and the systematic discrimination, arguing that there are people who to blame on both sides for discrimination. The revolutionary men and women are equals, and we're doing protectionist policies. The Council of Professional Workers has concluded that a protectionist policy towards American goods is in order, but not as drastic as the old Smooth Holly Tariff, uh, Tariff Act. A soft approach will see increased tax breaks for unions that operate solely in the states, as well as a propaganda push to buy American just as we should have during the first Valkyrie. And the social dividends? Congress has passed a law instituting a basic universal income wherein a portion of all profit generated from state run enterprises will be divide, divided among our citizens. Our laborers are not just mere subjects, they're the very thing that keeps the nation running. <clears throat> Therefore, they shall be, hereby be entitled to some of America's collective wealth. Cool. Get some more armor. Because you can. As we are hopefully planning going to war with good old Ecuador. It's going to take a few week and a half or so. Well, we'll do okay. Oh my goodness. They're not doing very well over there. Very well over there at all, are they? Yeah, they're not doing very well. Hmm. Hmm. Well, if they capitulate, that's very not good. Uh, we might have to uh, expedite our revolution in that direction. Let's go to war with Ecuador first, and then, well, I was planning to go to war with these guys next. Cayenne Agreement. So let's go to war with Ecuador, and then go to war with the other group. It shouldn't take too long to go to war. Hopefully France can hold out. I kind of doubt that they can, because they're looking really thin all over those. Why is France so strong? This literally makes no sense. Why would France be extremely strong, especially without Canada here? What type of buffs did they get? That's a bit extreme in my opinion. Actually, it's way too extreme for how strong they are. All that extra manpower? 
Do you think those Africans would really fight for France? Yeah, some would, probably, but... Would they really? You'll be fine doing that. And then, let's get through the West Indies quickly. If possible. Yeah, I don't know. The French Republic might not do very well here. Um, honestly, I might do some messy things off screen just because... Uh, Oh, th oh, that's good for them. Just because this is this is making sense. France is single-handedly ha carrying the entire Entente on his back. Literally makes no sense. Hopefully they'll race division south, but but why? Just why? And more propaganda. Go ahead whenever you can. I'm not too worried about this whole war. And then we'll go to war with Peru as well. And then them. And then we'll invade over here too. Have a good old time. Um, stockpile. We do have Josephine Baker here, which is kind of cool, actually. Go over there. And we'll go over there too. That'd be nice. Hey, Ecuador's gone. Good job, guys. Good job. Alright, you guys. Head on over here. Get ready for them as well. And social dividends. Well, up with what? Oh, agricultural investments in Maine? Becomes a sparse urban region. Wait, what? Uh, what is, is that good? I don't know. Let's, let's do it and see what happens. No guarantees. And then, equality for all. Continental Red Army. We can do that one. Our army needs only the best soldiers for this purpose. Local Red Guards will be transformed into a reserve force, which will be drafted into the enemy an army just in case of war. Already trained by army standards with the same equipment they can replenish. Our army if necessary, but this also means that we must raise our standards for the Red Guard. Pretty much. Not bad, not bad. Happy 42, everybody. Grab some of that as well. This literally makes no sense. How are they able to do so well? You know what? I think I'm going to go off screen and... This doesn't make any sense. We had, I'm going to do some funky stuff to make sure it's a little bit more balanced than France carrying the entire thing on their back. Family backs. Code of 1942. With the Social Revolution in full swing, Congress passed the Family Code of 1942, the Family Code is a revolutionary code that is driven by an ideological desire. Two, wither away the capitalist model of the family to be replaced by a socialist model of free, the familial free unions based on mutual love and respect. Thus, to that end, the code included a number of revolutionary changes. It abolishes all impediments of marriage, the biggest one being the abolition of mis, uh, anti miscegenation laws. Civil marriage is now the only legal type of marriage. The code establishes no grounds of force, with both spouses receiving equal division of the property at the time of divorce. It also abolishes the concept of illegitimacy. Now all children are entitled to parental support and equal rights under the law. Furthermore, in accordance with the revolutionary laws regarding the family, adoption of children that were made homeless by the revolution subside, uh, subsidized. The European Council of Free Love is still under consideration, as well as criminalizing homosexual behavior. A committee of sexology, led by Magnus Hirschfeld, Wilhelm Reich, and Eileen Leroy Locke, are still locked in debate over how to approach this. The world is changing. Yeah, and I'm sorry that I used cons commands to delete the I, I just deleted the army. I mean, this is... Uh, in, what, in what capacity would a bunch of... A few French nobles, basically, in Africa, would be able to muster up millions of men to fight for a French republic? I'm sorry, but... I know this is Kaiserreich, but that makes literally no sense. It makes no sense, but overall, I asked you guys yesterday whether we should go with a good syndical soldier and free the new world, and overall the times recording, there's quite a bit more support for good syndical soldier of all things. Our place is next to our brothers in Europe. We must help them, and through our victory, help syndicalism spread to the rest of the world, so. Yeah, I'm sorry, but the French Republic should not have millions of men. I don't care if they're on extensive conscription or not. They should be struggling extremely badly down here. Like, this is stupid. They should not be able to single-handedly carry the war effort here. I mean, that that that's a terrible design, in my opinion. That is god-awful. <laughs> How they're able to just do... I mean, just win. I mean, what? What? I get it. France is fighting, you know, the Germans. But it's just one enemy. They don't have Canada at their side, either. So, like, that, it, it doesn't make any sense. They don't have the West Indies. They have Aust Australasia. Wow. Big deal. You got Australasia. Who, who else do you have in, in the Entente? Australasia, the French, the Portuguese, who already are dead, the Union of South Africa, but are they able to do anything? No. Sardinia? No. Li Liberia? No. That makes no sense, and I, I'm not going to tolerate that. I literally won't tolerate that, because that's stupid. I, I, the design, sometimes, of some of the mods, it just doesn't make sense. Now, I'm not saying they should have 0% chance to do well if they're by themselves, but holy god, holy god, it makes no sense. But, 
the fate of the West Indies. After a long campaign, a good portion of the Caribbean region is now under our control. Most of that would do with the many scattered islands. And that's settled. Infrastructural expansion in Philadelphia. Yeah, I, I can get on board with that one. So just, I'm sorry, but no. The French are not strong enough in Africa. You know, you know how badly they would not succeed here without any, and really any help. Like seriously. It, it makes it no sense. Why do they get so many buffs? Because they're so hard to play as probably. That's probably why. That's literally it. Extended powers, which can make sense. War credits. What? Strategic initiative. Salvation does not wait. Ooh, salvation won't wait. We gotta do it ourselves. Death and ruin. Eh. Specialized training. They just buffs to give them buffs. Uh, attack, bonus, defense. ID, IEDC engineers. Earthquake. It's Guatemala. If you want to about that, please go ahead. Use everything. Nothing but buffs. Just random buffs. Uh, ineluctable advance. Just another buff randomly. Trade warfare. Devour, France, Devouement. I mean, don't get me wrong. We got our own random buffs sometimes too. But like, that many buffs? Just to say that, oh, we got to make sure that they're they're doing okay. <sighs> Come on. Get out of here. I'm going to see through your BS. If anything, they should be trying to survive against the natives. Are you kidding me? You think Algerians really want the French there? I don't think so. If anything, they'd just kick them out if they could. Alright. So we can do, I know that we won't be able to push for that hard into this part. That's alright. There you go, and then there you go. 139 subs ain't enough. Oh, Fade Guiana. Oh, we don't have uh, command power. Or political power. That's fine, whatever. Uh, Ecuador. I don't get to war them anyways. Oh, hello. Okay. Why not? Give him a town. We'll take out those guys too. That'll be good, 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 good. Continental Red Army. We'll do good to know Soldier. Now, I personally, I wanted to go to Free New the World. Free the New World, but. This is what you guys decided? I'm going to support for both sides, but. Oh, well. Remove fading longest terrace. Yeah, that'll be good. Still trying to build ourselves up here. Still trying to build, 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 build. Uh, get some more rubber too. That'd be nice. Oh, we definitely could use more rubber. Excavation. Get some more rubber. Why not? How are we doing down here? Doing all right. Sure, guys. We'll take the stuff. Ooh, another tank. Yes, pretty good. Continental Red Army. Good syndical soldier. And American aid. American expertise must be put in to the disposal of our allies, or at the least, the enemy of our enemies. If they fight better than together, we stand a chance of victory. You know, I deleted their divisions. They're still doing not badly. Like, this makes no sense. Balance? Who needed it? How are the Moscow Accords this bad, too? Like, uh, Social Democrats. They don't really care for their, for their military, either. This makes no sense, man. I mean, I guess, to a degree, Russia's really... Russia's supposed to be really weak, but if you have somewhere between 70 to 270 divisions... I don't know. Every time I play Kaiserreich, you never know what the deads are up to. You never know. I mean... Is Ukraine really supposed to be that big? I mean, I guess they do the United States of Greater Austria. But they didn't have Italy here, too. And they should have done really okay. Of course, there was AI, but still. I mean, these guys are able to do well. Germany's not be able to do well, so. There you go. Sometimes I just really question what the dads are thinking. Oh, mega France. Even stronger than the commune of France itself. That'll make sense. You don't think the Commune of France would be putting rebels or inspiring rebel uh, agitation in Africa? You really don't think they would be doing that? <laughs> Look at all that. Fall of Warsaw? Oh, they finally fell. You really don't think that they do that? <laughs> Compliance strength, please. How are they able to do this without any... Ah, oh, they're going... No, no. Oh, Third International's down here, too. It's fine, whatever. We'll take as much of them as possible. Hopefully we can invade. And do well there. They haven't gotten too many enemies yet. Well, we've landed. The 
This makes no sense. And randomly a truck appears, huh? Alright, go up there too. That'd be nice. The convoy is nice. Oh, we failed that. We failed Dutch Guiana. Following a brief campaign, the main popular heirs in Dutch Guiana or Suriname, as it's claimed to be known, has fallen into our hands. This is open to question, however. Should we establish a new nation in these underdeveloped lands, or is it the colony of the Americas that we've always wanted? Yeah, I think we know our answer. Alright, so you guys are looking pretty good. Makes no sense. My god. I thought TNO made no sense, but like this. Done. Uh, I think I gave you all orders to do that, please. Thank you. Africa, we go, I guess. Supplies are so bad down here, of course. We're fighting a land war in South America. Never recommended. How much more manpower do they have down here? We got not a lot of divisions. We got plenty of equipment though. We got plenty of manpower. Let's keep keep grinding against them. See what happens. Fighter groups. A little bit more of that. There you go. Alright, American Aid. Pretty much. Now on the beaches, from the skies. Yeah, that's probably a better one to do. World Revolution, Stability. If, if you wonder about this one, please go right ahead. I mean, we're already in naval invading, we did really well. It's from the skies. The greatest chance of projecting power across the oceans is through the use of air power. We can aid our allies best by helping them achieve air superiority, and through that, control over the battlefield. Nice. Uh, sure, you're part of the Third International anyways, that's fine. Look at that. If you can see the battleships, that'd be great. Cultural investments. Uh, actually, let's take a main. What is this like? Sparse agriculture investments. Nothing. Okay, well, that's a waste of time then. I'd rather get roads. Northern Texas. Washington. Thank you very much. Fall of Munich. And they still came back, and they're still doing a really good job. Uh, that makes no sense. I'm not going to delete divisions now, but like, how? Why? In what world does this make sense? Yeah, they're fighting a two-front war. It doesn't matter. How are these guys sucking so hard? These guys, the French Republicans, taking out the Communist of France. Well, I'm taking out the Republic of France. Does this world make any sense at all at this point? I guess America's winning the Civil War, or the CSA winning the Civil War, really screwed things up for everybody. Holy crap. Oh, look at that, not bad. In exchange for a sub, not bad. Oh, watch out, we got rid of that great power. Liberia is gone. Brazil? Well, it's a fake country. Wadadugu. Alright, other than that. Um... Puerto Rico, you are quite literally American territory. Here, head through here. Um, 
Go on up if you can. It's fine. Do the best you can. Hmm. I think you. I think you just walk over there, but that's fine. Whatever. Something like that. Superiority missions, very good. Oh, three battleships, nice. Three more convoys, very good. Oh, I guess Peru. Thanks for playing, Peru. I'll take your alpacas if you have any. Very nice. Join the international. I know some of you guys don't want me to do it, but our place within the world has been uh, has been within Europe. Well, Europe needs us. Good. Well, first campaign we joined them. It's a very red South America, which I love, 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 love. But there's part of South America that needs to be a little bit more loved. I think you catch my drift, American AEDS, please. From the skies. It's fine. Kill them all off. Oh, we're at war with Cuba then, too. Uh, it doesn't really matter as long as we got naval superiority. From the sky and the world revolution? We can use more political power. Now our nation can stand tall, knowing that we've done our utmost to spread the sin of revolution across the globe. Glory to American workers everywhere. Nice. Never enough subs. Good job, guys. Puerto Rico. Let's go. Puerto Rico. Yeah, I think we already war with Cuba, so. Oh, these guys are killing each other, too, huh? Nice. Yeah, no. Oh, they've only have militias, huh? Divisions, where y'all at? Yeah, that's the problem with the frontline system. You literally can't do anything here. Come on. Nope. We'll see. Oh, nice job, guys. Oh, you actually went all. Holy crap. It's a bit suicidal doing it like this, but okay. I understand. Oh, you're fighting. Oh, crap. Oh, that's true. I forgot about this part, too. That's right. This part is stupid. We're about to get encircled as well. Just take it. Take Tunis. Ball of Algiers. Stupid Go. setup. Incredibly stupid setup. There's a sub. This is so stupid. Oh my god. I'm I'm sorry, but no, I'm not. I'm not sorry at all. Incredibly stupid. Uruguay. Bro, just go over, man. Now go in. Should be able to win there. Oh, right. Join him. Sure. Work with British allies. American advisors. Chromium. Infrastructure. That sounds pretty decent this time of year. Might as well do that one too. And... Eh, I don't take this can. So how much more do we need to take these guys out? Oh, there goes Puerto Rico, thank you. Because we've taken all the major cities now. So, this is stupid. Uh, who, 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 what? who designed this? Seriously. Seriously. Oh, we got to get to car now? Come on, man. That's so dumb. That's where the designs of some of these mods, man. Doesn't make sense. What do you mean the, what do you mean the Anton collapses? The Anton already died, basically, when Canada died. <laughs> 
What? Is this Yoko's former self? My god, what the heck? Pfft, stupid. Absolutely stupid. I'm just gonna take it all. Who cares? Uh, we'll give it Iberia. No, that's not Iberia. That's not Iberia. The Entente finally collapsed. Yeah, it kind of collapsed earlier when the fall of Canada. They call it the Entente version too, but my God. All right, and you know what? I know some mod developers don't like me, but at this point, I, I couldn't care less. If I like your mod, I'll play it. I try my best to be supportive of everyone as best I can, but sometimes I just there's some some things in some mods that just doesn't make sense. Look at that. Trap them there. Kill them all. Why would we peace out? What? I don't understand. Why would we peace out with South Africa? If we can't peace out with the French, why the heck can we not peace out with South Africa? Why? In what world does that make sense? Oh, you had the option to peace out earlier. No, I had the option to peace out with Canada. Apparently only. There needs to be a decision. A little just decision in game saying, hey, you want to peace out with uh, the rest of the supposed Entente after Canada dies? No? Okay. You should be able to peace out with just Canada and then peace out, annex Canada and peace out with everyone else. And there goes the Rex Pact. There, there are serious decisions in the game that I just don't understand. Or the, they're the lack of. Oh, look at these guys that died. Uh, let's see, who are we going to get this stuff to? Union of Britain. There you go. Dutch East Indies. Give it to Japan. There you go. Give this to the French. Argentina's doing really well. I guess Argentina gets Brazil. Oh my god, I hate this so much. All these stupid little territories. You happy now, Brazil? Or Argentina, I guess? And then... Netherlands. Uh, we'll, we'll take this. Oh, no, we can't take this off? Okay. Um, there you go. Well, these guys did well over there. Oh my god. Come on. You know what I like about TNL? You don't have to worry about this. You just pretty much set it up and go. Here, Russia. Here. Do you deserve all this? Probably not, but whatever. Give the rest of it to France. Oh, just for taking so long with this. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Apologies for the clicking as well. Give him all that blue. <laughs> so many small little states. Three, two, one. There you go. Prussian Saxony, huh? Hint of Palmer has a lot of VP score, 369. It's way more than Brandenburg. Why is it so high? Uh, at this point, I don't care. Like, do, they, do the French deserve this? Probably not. Doesn't matter to me, though. There you go. I couldn't care less at this point. How much longer do you have to wait? 40 days? Come on, man. Let's go. Come on. Come on. You guys do the best you can. It's going to suck here in Africa, but it's Africa. What do you expect? And now there's going to be a lot of lag people being released, so we're going to read from the sky and do a revolution and maybe greatly forward. 
With our efforts consolidating and our focus cleared, together Americans can leap forward into the coming century well ahead of the rest of the world. And here we are at everyone, which basically the war's over. Um, I finished off Middle Africa, they're pretty easy. Um, we basically had a peace deal between us and Russia. Uh, as you can tell, here's the uh, little peace deal, Third International versus Moscow Accords. Uh, Moscow just went to war, I guess Russia went to war for Belarus. Um, because I gave it to the French, and the French were like, no, and then they're like, grr, and then they're gonna kill each other. Um, at this point, I'm kind of done. We've done really well. I mean, I think not all, well, not all of Africa, but a good chunk of Africa. I and mean, we have all South American so I didn't get all these guys, but at the same point, I mean, we would take them anyway, so. Um, Ghana, it doesn't really matter at this point. You can click on all these buttons. If you want to read about these, please go right ahead, such as this one. East Africa? Ooh. Ooh, Greater East Africa? Well, let's see what that looks like, actually. I'm kind of interested in seeing what that would be. If you're about Madagascar, please go right ahead. Ooh, American East Africa. That looks really cool. That reminds sure me of TNO. Oh. Military occupation, Sarawak, Congo, Gabon, Namibia, Obangishari. Uh, I don't really care what either one. Dahomey, Togoland, Cameroon, Ghana. All good stuff. But I've been doing some of the focuses off screen. And we can let time go on because it doesn't really matter. Such as equality for all. Long fought battle for true liberty hold looks to be over, or almost over. The old hierarchies and horrors are fading away. Soon, the American injustice will be nothing but bitter memories in the stuff of history books. Revisit and remember American heroes. Names Joe Hill, the Haymarket Martyrs, and even Ju Eugene Debs are famous today, but only as a top player of a long legacy of American syndicalist heroes. We must undo years of misinformation about these figures through a con concentrated propaganda effort, and also begin teaching a new generation about the legacy of the con this brave American heroes who fought for workers' rights. Um, let's see, Committee of Strategic Services. While the Joint Defense Committee has proven quite effective, it has also been criticized as being too open to public. It is a shame we have to conspire in secret from our citizens, but at least we can ensure that the Second Congressional Committee will uphold the spirit of the revolution and be closely supervised. Protecting the working class. While many new ideas for a better economic system have existed in theory in America, the turmoil of the Civil War made putting any of them into practice a difficult endeavor. Now, though, we have ample time and opportunity to build a working man's democracy through amendments protecting workers' rights, publicly owned enterprise. Public enterprise were for a long time shown in America, as every one of our old presidents was beholden to the will of big business over the electorate. However, now that we've broken the yoke of the corporations, Congress has finally found room to make use of publicly owned enterprises in the American economy. Rooseveltism and conservationists only hold us back. In Australia's acclaimed South Pacific, the Australasian government pursuing a revanchist policy which causes Anderson Doctrine was a claim on the Southern Pacific Islands. Uh, Saying that they were the last only due to Germany's assumption of control following the Valkyrie and that they are part of the Australasian Confederation's eminent domain, they can go kill themselves. Workers' cooperatives. The dominance of industrial unions mean, need not mean the death of enterprise, which will simply replace the bosses who take an unjust cut of the profits. Instead, they let the workers decide within their workplaces, dividing the wealth fairly amongst themselves. But from the bold new class of scientists our generations produce, no one can match your imagination you know, of Oppenheimer and Passons. Oppenheimer, uh, the ambitious physicist with a connection to the brightest minds in the international can make the atomic weapon dream a reality. Payson's a liberated rocketry pioneer whose devotion to socialism is only matched by his devotion to advancing rocketry research, unfortunately. We can only fulfill uh, or fully form one of these due to budgetary concerns. Liberate from the Earth, liberate the atom, or the liberate from Earth. Town Hall Democracy. Because they're, oh, no, let's read about New American Syndicalism first. America has. Finally left exploitive, uh, left exploitive capitalism behind is now marching eagerly towards a brighter future. Though peers in Congress still mock our idea of cynicalism with American characteristics, their complaints bear no weight when the industries roar with en energy, and our people celebrate with hero their own to unknown prosperity. Nice. That's actually really good. To an democracy, the new commonwealth cannot be built through authoritarian means. We must pursue a better class character. For our democracy, by passing laws and power and grassroots engagement in town hall meetings, political decisions will no longer be a distant murmur on capital help, and so they'll be made right amongst the workers, no longer chained to the earth. Despite his unorthodox lifestyle, Jack Parsons has made the hasty work of completing a rocket to our specifications. We've had to hold back many objections from pol politicians claiming that Jack Parsons is secretly in a cult with his work associates. Easily dismissed hogwash until a meeting held with a team late in the production. Parsons surprised everyone with a film of a successful rocket takeoff ahead of schedule, but then dropped the bombshell by asking that his rocket be used primarily for scientific exploration of outer space. As incredible news is still being mulled over by a committee with their decision dictating the future of the program. Good. Councilism. Uh, maintaining America's old bureaucracy is pointless. A compromise between the craft and industrial unions has, reached in, has been reached in the implementation of decentralized worker councils. These councils will be allowed to uh, allow states to exert autonomous power on how unions are organized versus federalism, in which even if the old U.S. was home to political corruption, gerrymandering, inefficient bureaucracy, its administrative system is an unshakable cornerstone of our national identity. With a compromise between craft and industrial unions impossible, we must rely on this cornerstone as the first American revolutionaries did in the Ununionized Social Security Act. 
At the urging of the old age pension activists, Congress has been compelled to reserve some money for a social security fund for ununionized workers. This value is in keeping with our socialist ideals and breaks ground in ensuring that workers in unprotected industries receive protection as the unionized already do through their retirement funds. I apologize for speaking quickly, but if you want to read about these ones as well, please go ahead. I mean, I'm going to see these again probably eventually, so I'm not too concerned about reading these. I wanted to read all the kind of unique ones regarding um, the uh, radical socialism, just because it's unique. And I haven't played this in a number of times, so I do apologize we're not going to really get to the next election. I mean, we could, but I, I just, I'm not too concerned about it. At this point, we're kind of done already, so, um, yeah. And there's pretty much not too much else for uh, the focus tree, so. Yeah, we could do really well. At this point, we're going to do really well. No one can really challenge us. Um, what is this one up here? Restore lands? Was it? Ooh, industrial development would give us a civilian factory in two doctor's office. That's nice. Yeah, give the uh, Spanish lands. But happy 1944. Spanish lands? Yeah, there you go. Whatever. I don't care. Maybe I didn't give it to them. Whatever. And the American uh, syndicalism. That sounds really nice. And here are the national spirits, too. Market socialism. Pretty, pretty nice. Social revolution is pretty awesome as well. Actually, that gives extra political power every single day. As you can tell, we at re really, really needed it. But, oh well. It is what it is. I do apologize about using cons commands earlier, but I just, at this point in the campaign, I'm just like, eh, Moscow Accords versus their international. We're going to wait for Culture Creek or something like that. But, hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. The America's looking mostly all blue. And I'll catch you later in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.